What do we have here? Well, it's the latest uh, cube project. And uh, thanks for the inspiration, Biff. But after driving Biff's Scorpion, I had to get one for myself. So I got one and been doing some work on her and just got the motor running yesterday. She ain't done. Let's see how she'll run. <laughs> So there she is. I haven't given her the full Q tuning, but let me shut the water off. I can put an impeller in the out drive. Basically, what we have here is a, uh, the engine, by the way, it's a uh, 86 Eliminator Scorpion Pickle Fork Hydro. Uh, it's not done. I, I just threw the seats in if they're not done. I haven't put the interior panels. I've been working on it. I've had it for just a little over a week. I actually waxed it today. It was a cool, breezy day. So I actually decided to wax the thing. And, uh, you know, she she's pretty bitching. The trailer needs work. I haven't got to that yet. But, you know, this is a Q one week wonder. And, uh,. Anyways, what do we have for a drive? Well, this got a uh, 350HO crate motor. GM is what it started as. It's what I bought it with. And uh, out drive. It's got a Merc Cruiser out drive on it. Basically, uh, that's not the final prop. I got a nice stainless prop to test. We're going to go test next week. Uh, inside the drive here is they actually have a water pump impeller. That thing's nuked, so it's not circulating the water correctly. So let's uh, talk to the good stuff. Yeah, it's got Bassett stacks on it, wet water injectors in it. Uh, what I did is I tore the whole motor, uh, top end of the motor, ripped it all apart. Basically, the 350HO's got Vortex style heads on it, and it, you know, essentially, it's for just a mild 350 motor. And I decided, you know, with a boat that's just as cool as this having a you know stockish motor socks so ripped it out changed the cam in it uh, it's got beehive springs uh, one six roller rockers modified the heads did everything on the boat change the springs out with the heads on the motor in the boat it's got a uh, the carburetor it's a Heinz 57. No, actually, it's parts of four Hollies. It's a started out as a 750 double pumper. Choke causings milled off. I ported it out, gutted it, did a whole bunch of stuff to it. It's got a spacer underneath it. It's got a performer RPM intake, MSD ignition, Mallory coil. It's got a lot of good shit in it. And uh, this thing's pretty stout. And um, I haven't done the final tune on it. I haven't even put the belt on the power steering pump. And. Uh, Pretty happy with it, but uh, we'll be taking her out and testing her just in a little bit. And yeah, we, we gotta do some more. Look at this trailer. This thing's hideous, isn't it? But, all in all, yeah, what do you think about the colors, huh? <laughs> what are the odds of that? The boat, you know, I have to thank Biff. Driving his Illuminator Pickle Fork was 
enough to convince me to look. And I, I didn't really want a big block jet because he had one on. You know, I wanted something different. Uh, it's a small block uh, with an outdrive, and it'll be fine. It's uh, it'll do for this year. In the uh, shop, I have an LT4 motor. It's it's a part, but it's a you know late model '96 LT4 all done up. Um, we're gonna put it in this boat with a different drive in it with twin turbos and you know twin after coolers and just all a lot of good cool stuff but that's a you know that's another day and uh, I know I had a lot of people want to know what the hell I've been doing on this boat I busted ass she's running pretty good huh so I uh, hope you like it and we'll talk to you later